Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, what you see here is a 1999 Volvo V70. A buddy of mine purchased it for $400. He bought it off of a woman because the drive shaft was bad. Somebody put uh, two tires on it that didn't match and that tears up the all wheel drive system in these early model Volvos and maybe later models too. At any rate, he paid uh, 400 for it from her and sold it to my mom for $500. So. I can actually start doing a video series titled that $500 car or that $500 Volvo and just go from A to Z with them showing you what I did to get them in my opinion roadworthy. This one has several spots where it has some minor body damage. I think it was in an accident or somebody dinged it up while it was in the storage. The grill looks a little worn. The front of it was bumped into something and that uh, messed up the skirts in it. The all-wheel drive system was destroyed. So on day one, I pulled the all-wheel drive system, uh, basically the shaft that goes from the front transmission back to the rear wheels. And I took the car to a tire shop and had four brand new tires put on there that are all weather supposed to be good rated for snow because my mom lives in Pennsylvania she'll be driving in snow and I'm gonna go through the car bumper to bumper and just let you guys know everything that's been done to it so I did purchase a new shaft so I can reconnect that all-wheel drive stuff because that is something that would be useful to her although most people won't need that I heard these cars handle very well in the snow just as front wheel drive cars. At any rate, uh, seeing how she's into it for 500 for the car, the shaft was about 400 and the new tires were uh, 375. So, so far we're into the car for, I guess that's uh, 1275. So I'll go from there. Now the car had sat for several months and uh, so the gas in it was bad, a few other things. And I took the car, filled the gas up, and it misfired on me once. But since I started driving, it hasn't misfired again. Now the engine compartment was real dirty. I cleaned it up some, I uh, may clean it up some more. It did not have a battery. So I bought this battery here. And the oil was about three quarts low. Now they take about six and a half quarts, so it still had some in there. At any rate, it seemed like it might have had a minor oil leak. And I uh, checked the PVC system. It looked like it was already serviced, and it's not rock hard. It's a little pliable. And uh, the timing belt was done about 25,000 miles ago. So that's not due for 75,000 miles. So a couple of the major services have been done the car is running like a clock and it, it's driving very comfortable the whole purpose in me doing a video series on purchasing these cars and getting them in good shape would be to let you know that hey you could take a $500 car purchase do several things on it to get it up to speed and in tip-top shape so that the car can be so reliable and dependable that you could drive it to the moon and back. I purchased a car similar to this for my daughter and when she graduated high school on her way to college I paid about $4,300 for it and she's been out of college now going on two years. She still has a car, enjoys it, I still maintain it and it's running very good, very strong with about 190,000 miles on it. It's my opinion that these cars are built to drive to the moon and back. And the thing that I like about them most is at 10, 15, 20 years old, they still feel like great cars and they still have features that 
great cars of today have. Example of that, cruise control, air conditioning, heated seats, and ABS uh, braking system and stuff like that. So they're very comfortable. They're made to last. And you could buy them for $500, put some money into them, and keep them for a while. Now, right now, we're about $1,275 deep into this one. And in my opinion, this car should be able to go uh, 50 to 100,000 miles easy without any other major uh, work done on it. The only extra money that we're really going to put in this car to make it the way we want it is to get that all-wheel drive system fixed because we want that feature to be active in the car. So normally, my opinion is you could buy one of these cars for 500 bucks, 600 bucks, 1200 bucks, whatever. You could put some money into it in parts, your own labor, and be into the car for somewhere around $2,000 and have a vehicle that's very dependable that you could drive across the country several times if you like. My black car there, I've driven across the country 10 times last year, going back and forth five times. So I believe they're dependable, good cars. My car is currently uh, 20 years old and has over 270,000 miles on it. So. You guys give me some feedback, make some comments. Let me know what you think if you want me to make some series of these uh, cars being rebuilt after being purchased for $500, and I'll go from there. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.